A fantastic event happened during the Klondike Gold Rush. An event so unbelievable that the entire episode was swept under the rug as quickly as possible. In fact, there is very little existing official record that the event ever happened. When the steamer Portland arrived in Seattle from Alaska in July 1897 f with a ton of gold from the Klondike, the Stampede North started at once. Several thousand men crossed Chilkoot Pass before freeze-up and paddled down the Yukon to Dawson. For some unknown reason, reports started spreading up and down the Pacific coast that there was a famine in the Klondike. Thousands of American prospectors were said to be on the verge of starvation. The rumors grew bigger with the telling. There was no way of authenticating the rumors in a hurry as there was no telegraph station within 1,500 miles of the Klondike. Chambers of Commerce bombarded Congress with urgent appeals to get food to the starving Americans. So, in December 1897, an alarmed Congress appropriated $200,000 for the relief of the people in the Yukon River country. The funds were turned over to the Secretary of War, and he decided correctly that the easiest and fastest routes to get supplies into the Yukon Valley were over Chilkoot Pass from Dyee and the Dalton Trail from Haines. But instead of rounding up dog teams and horses to transport the supplies over the winter trails, a bizarre, dramatic, spectacular scheme was hatched. Let's use reindeer. So a party sailed across the Atlantic to Norway to buy reindeer, harnesses, sleds, and tons of reindeer moss. A ship was chartered. 538 reindeer, scores of Lapland herdsmen and sleds, steamed at full speed for New York. A special train waited at the dock. The reindeer and crew were rushed to Seattle. Another specially chartered craft transported them to Alaska. By the time they arrived in Haines, it was the end of March and breakup was underway. Travel was impossible. To the embarrassment of all, it was learned that there was no famine in the Klondike. Prospectors were not dying of starvation. So what about the reindeer? These tundra animals were found utterly unfit to travel the timbered routes to the interior. When the last of their Norwegian moss was gone, they died by the score. Hardly more than a hundred reached the interior a year later. The War Department closed this embarrassing episode and Congress tried to forget all about it. This little known story of the reindeer trek to the Klondike is part of the heritage of Alaska.